fish one. Oh, fish one. What is up everybody, Fish Hawk here. Hope you guys are having a great day. If you're new here, consider subscribing. I put out new videos every single week. In this video, I'm at a remote lake that I've never been to before. It's a beautiful lake and we got great weather today. Overcast skies, a little bit of a breeze, but it's great fishing conditions. High of about 80 degrees, which is amazing compared to what it's been. It's been in the 90s uh, the past week. So I did a little poll on Instagram a while back and I think on YouTube asking if you guys wanted to see a mystery tackle box video and the majority of you said yes. So today's video is sponsored by Mystery Tackle Box. Mystery Tackle Box is a tackle subscription uh, company that will send a box of lures and baits to your uh, doorstep every single month with uh, has new lures and baits for you to try. It's a great way to discover new lures and baits. And uh, this is the Panfish and Trout Box. And if you guys use code FISHHULK, you can get your first box for as little as $10. So it's a great way to try new baits and lures. Um, for only 10 bucks, it's pretty good. But the goal for today is to catch something tasty like uh, bluegill, crappie, yellow perch, trout, something like that. And I'm gonna do a little catch and cook for you guys. So I'm gonna go over all the lures in here and show you what I'm working with. And then I'm gonna get to fishing. Hopefully I can catch some. Stay tuned. All right, guys, let's see what we're working with today. Looks like we have a little weighted rubber jig. It's a Helgramite. We got some little soft plastic minnows. Got a little mayfly nymph, pretty cool. Got a little roadrunner jig with a little underspin on it. We got a casting spoon. This should work really well in this clear water. Got a bigger spoon here that might entice a bass. Got some soft plastic creature baits. Got some little jig heads. Last but not least, we have some bobbers. You also get a card in the box that tells you what everything is and how much it's worth. And you even get a sticker. I'm gonna start out with this little Roadrunner jig head. Let's see what happens. Got the little Roadrunner tied on. Let's catch a fish. Today I'm gonna to be using my six foot ultra light St. Croix Premier rod. I have a Fluger President reel and I got four pound test P-line fluorocarbon. First cast of the day, guys. Oh yeah, that cast's good on four pound test line. Oh yeah, lots of follows. Tons of little bluegill in here. What a beautiful day, guys. What a beautiful day. Looks like it's gonna storm, but it's not calling for any rain today. Fish on. Oh, he got off. It's a little bluegill. Wind is actually a good thing for fishing as long as you can cast in it. Breaks up the surface clarity. The fish can't see you as easily, especially when the water's really clear like this. Come on. Come on, you're telling me there's no fish out here? I'm right in the juice. All right, nothing at this tree. Very surprising. Saw some little bluegills swimming around, but that's pretty much it. Fish on. First fish of the day. Oh, no. No. Dang it, guys. How did he get off? It's a nice little bluegill. He felt good on this ultralight rod. Water doesn't feel too bad. I'd say it's probably in the mid 70s. I got a little idea if this doesn't work here at this spot. I'm at the lower end of the lake. Right there's the spillway. If I go upstream, there is a little creek that dumps in and should be supplying this lake with some cold water. And during the summer, if you find some creeks that feed cold water into a lake, some of the fish from the lake will actually congregate uh, below those streams to get that colder water. So I may move up to the other end of the lake, see if we can find some colder water. And hopefully that means fish. I'm gonna take off the Roadrunner jig head. We're gonna try this spoon right here. Took off the Roadrunner jig head, had a couple fish on, but I lost them. I'm gonna try this spoon now. Nothing on the spoon, time to make a move. We're making a move. I was fishing the lower end of the lake. Now I'm heading to the upper end of the lake. Looks like we made it up here. It's beautiful. Let's see if I can catch something on this spoon right here. Very clear water. I don't see any fish yet. Oh, 
fish on. It's a trout. It's a trout. Oh my gosh, it's a trout. Let's go. Oh. Don't have my net, don't have my net. First fish of the day and it's a beautiful stocked brook trout. We're gonna cook this bad boy up. Just caught us a nice brook trout on the spoon right here. I went ahead and killed the fish. Gonna cook it up here in a few minutes, but there's a lot of water here to fish. I was here for like two minutes. I made three casts when I caught that brook trout. So I'm gonna go back to this little roadrunner jig head. I think it's gonna work pretty well right here. So I'm gonna fish a little longer and then we'll get to cooking. Got the Roadrunner tied back on. Let's see if I can catch another fish. Got him. Fish one. All right, all right. We got us a gill. Real pretty fish. Beautiful fish. We already have lunch. We're gonna let this guy go. Fish on. Another trout. We're gonna let you go. We're not gonna, we're not gonna kill you. Oh, he got off. There he goes. He's right there. I don't know if you can see him or not. He's right there going. I knew this little jig would work. If I had my net with me, I would've got him. Oh well. He crap, that's a big fish. Got him. Another trout. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Another little brookie on the road runner. There he goes. Fat little booger. That fish actually had some line coming out of its throat where someone had broke off or cut him off. So I removed as much of the line as I could, set him free. He splashed mud all over the lens. All right, I think it's time to start cooking, guys. Upstream gets very, very shallow. I'm gonna head back and start cooking. Let's get this trout cleaned. Got two nice fillets, let's get to cooking. Today I'm gonna to be using this Coleman butane propane mix and then I have a little Coleman burner on top. I'm gonna to put some canola oil in my pan and let it get hot. Gonna try this breading out today. I've never tried it, but it looks really good. I'm just gonna chunk this fillet up and make trout nuggets. Now all we got to do is put our trout in the breading and shake it up. I think the oil's hot, but one good way to test it is to splash water in it. Yep, splash water in there and if it pops like that, your oil's hot. Let's put a little seasoned salt on them. Looking tasty, guys. Seasoned trout nuggets. Let's dig in. All right, guys. First taste test right here. Holy moly, it's hot. But oh so good. 
nice and crispy on the outside hot in the middle Woo. oh yeah that looks good last piece guys that was very tasty and my belly's happy but it's time to clean up all right guys that is going to do it for today had a great day out here on the lake doing a little catch and cook for you guys using mystery tackle box if you guys are interested in mystery tackle box make sure you click the link down in the description and use code fishhawk to get your first box for ten dollars the rest of the gear i used today will be linked down in the description as well if you guys are new to my channel and you enjoyed this video make sure you hit the subscribe button and also give me a thumbs up it'll really help me out if you guys want to see more videos just like this one make sure you drop a comment and let me know i really hope you guys enjoyed this video as always thank you so much for watching the shulk out.